Hello, this is my name. I, I mean, I, my, my name is Keith, and that's me, Keith Apicary, and you're watching Retro Spectrum. So, I got three parts in this. There's three roles. I will be playing Ralph, the werewolf man, monster man, because um, I'm pretty savage. So I figured that was kind of like typecast, you know, when they look at me, you kind of think, oh, that's the bad boy. So, we also have George and Lizzie. And Lizzie is the romantic interest of Ralph Keith, Ralph, Ralph's interest. So, if you're good at doing romance, <laughs> cast. Run for the hills. <laughs> and then oh, I, I, did I say that out loud? Yeah, well, then run for the hills, so then you're on top of the hill, everyone will, can, you can display your love on the top of the hill, that's why. Um, and then there's George, the, the King Kong type, correct? And Lizzie, what was Lizzie based on? Just like Godzilla? Uh, yeah. Well, isn't it your wife? Uh, well, in point of fact, in the original Rampage, when that first screen comes up to explain that this guy had, ate bad vitamins and this one ate a bad hot dog, <laughs> my photograph was George, my wife's was Lizzie, and the programmer partner Jeff Nauman uh, was Ralph. And when I read my wife the script the other night, it's going to be a delightful, <laughs> delightful play because there is some serious true romance going on. Yeah, and I, yeah, I assume right. Keith knew about the romantic tie between George and, or the, the tie there between George. I and didn't know that. I wasn't. I didn't know that deep into the, the the backstory of the game. But I think the script was just writing itself, and you know, nature was like intended it to be. Apparently, I guess. yeah. <laughs> Lizzie! Hey Ralph, my strictly platonic friend. It's me, Lizzie, the big lizard lady from Rampage the Game. Hey Liz, couldn't care less that you're here. Hey Ralph. Hello, George. Liz and I just punched Chicago in the face and then ate everyone. They were pretty ticked. That's great, George. I'm so happy you made it to level three. Ralph, are you okay? You seem like you don't seem okay. Yes, I'm okay, but I should tell you I'm miserable. There's something I need to tell you, <laughs> Lizzie. What is it, Ralph? I ate the mayor of Detroit yesterday, and then when I took a dump, his glasses came out sideways. So I'm not feeling too good. I don't want to cheer you up. We're going to go watch Keith Apicary videos on repeat on YouTube and get his revenue up, 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 up. That's great, George. Have fun watching all oh, these Dapagari's classic videos and making him a millionaire. But I don't want to do that with you. George does not know what he did. George has rampaged the script. <laughs> there it is. I want to go just stay here and think about what it takes to enter true love with another person besides myself. True love? Like the feeling of total destruction between your toes? No. The feeling of total destruction between your heart. What? Let me explain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You're that a <laughs> this should have been done in the maker room. Oh my god, another one of these? Chun Li, what are you building? Buildings. They're building buildings for Rampage. Rampage. Okay, these are these are cardboard buildings for Rampage. Lots of cardboard. Can can everybody hear me? Okay, this is great. Let me put this on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you can go up. It's like, oh, welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us at the, at the theater. So, everybody's mic is on stage. So just grab a mic whenever you go up there. And then we'll do the back of But when it's important, it'll be easy. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> I know. I know. It's the city's the department's in the middle of the city. Okay. Am I up there first? I It's really gonna be worth it, I promise. <laughs> Possibly. Okay. Yeah, I'll hold it close. It's dark 
Okay, go, Adrian. Welcome to Rampage on Stage, an artistic theatrical play to win Keith an award for acting good and good writing it too. Keith Abicary enters the stage. His face is painted like Ralph, the giant werewolf. We didn't have any paint, so prepare to be disappointed. <sighs> what a hard day of having a hard day all day. I'm so tired. I can't even speak straight. <laughs> I know. I, I know. <laughs> I'll sing it with my award-winning voice. I used to love my life. I used to be all right, but lately... I used to pound the town. I used to crumble down, but now I'm blasé. Uh, let me explain. All day long I smash and bang. That's because my life's a game. Bashing people, popping brains. Never clean, cause humans stain. At least I get to see the gang. George the obnoxious orangutan. And Lizzie, my beautiful Lois Lane. I mean, no, uh, she's ugly, and I feel nothing. We annihilate each stage until the day I go insane. Every city we obliterate, the more I begin to crave the grave. I used to want to get a wife. I mean, I used to love my life, but lately, <laughs> excuse me, I messed up. <laughs> Now when I pound the town, now when it crumbles down, I love Lizzie. I mean, ah, ah I mean Blase. Oh, you know, whatever, forget it. Okay, fine, you read my mind. I dream of the days when we're engaged on our wedding night. We'll get in a big old monster fight to settle it the old-fashioned way in a biological rampage. <laughs> There's nothing I'd love more than to love you through the floor. We annihilate each stage. I'm like, hand in hand, you keep me sane. Every city we obliterate. The more I love you, it makes me... I wanna get a wife. You are my entire life, Lizard Lizzy. <laughs> When I see you pound the town, my heart skips the bound. I love Lizzie. Go, <laughs> oh, Lizzie. Hey, Ralph, my platonic friend. Yeah, wait a second. My strict. Oh God. Oh. Uh, uh. My strictly platonic friend. I'm Lizzie, the li big lizard lady from Rampage the Game. Yeah, hey, Liz. Couldn't care less that you're here. Hey, Ralph. <sighs> Hello, George. Liz and I just punched Chicago in the face, then ate everyone. <laughs> they were pretty ticked. Yeah, that's great, George. Ralph, are you okay? You seem like you don't seem okay. Yes, I'm okay. But there's also something else. I'm miserable. Uh, and there's something I need to tell you, Lizzie. <laughs> what is it, Ralph? I ate the mayor of Detroit yesterday. I took a dump and his glasses came out sideways. So, <laughs> kind of hurts down there. <laughs> Look. I know what we can do to cheer you up. We're gonna go play Keith Apicary videos on repeat to up his YouTube revenue. You wanna come? No, George. I don't wanna to come to do Thank that. God. I wanna Good. Just, I just wanna get stay here and think about what it takes to enter true love with someone other than myself. True love? Like the feeling of total destruction between your toes? No, Lizzie. Like the feeling of total destruction between your heart. What? 
I'll explain. When I look in your toxic eyes, I see a pock of skies. A beautiful shade of pus that makes me want to blush. You're beautiful on the inside and out. Your face is just as pretty as the phlegm inside your throat. You stay this way forever. Cause your skin is made of leather. I need to shout it out. Like the fumes coming out my mouth. My heart grows bigger than all of outer space. Almost as big as the cracks growing in your face. Cause I love you, I've always loved you, specifically you, I love you, I love the one I'm looking at, who's you, it's true, you're my everything. You, you love me? Uh, no. I was, uh, I was talking about that lady. I have a lazy eye, so it gets kind of confusing as to where I'm looking. And I meant uh, the closest female. Yep, that one. Yep. <laughs> oh. All right, cool, man. See ya. <laughs> okay, building's off. Oh, I guess I'll just go to bed on an empty heart. Mm. I am the ghost of Chris. No, that's a different one. <laughs> Ralph, wake up! Uh, where the heck is the Ralph, come on, wake up. You're standing. Oh. You've got to be awake. What? What? It's me, Brian Colon. Oh, I'm still laying down. Yeah, well, in, the, in a minute you will be. Okay. <laughs> Who? Brian. I created Rampage. I created you. Great. Where are my royalties? Yeah, I expected that. The, the check is in the mail. Uh, uh, are you sure? That's not what it says in the script. I'm looking at the script right now. I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, uh, no, I might want to read it again. It says, Brian uh, creeps into Ralph's room like a deranged weirdo who's obsessed with Keith Apicary. And then takes out his own real wallet and gives Ralph 20 bucks. Yeah, I, th I, thought, I thought so. Um, so what's the next thing say? Um, yeah. It also says Brian does not ask for the $20 back after the show is over either. Um, he lets Keith, I mean Ralph, keep it. Cool. All right. More than I bargained for, but Ralph, jeez. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you gotta wake up. I have something to tell you. It's huh? important. Huh? What? What's going on? Is this a dream or did you perv your way into my window? <laughs> You're dreaming. Can't you tell by the way I'm dressed? It's a dream. Oh, what the heck do you want? I know how to help you. Help me with what? With Lizzie. I know you love her. Were you spying on my emotions? Sorry, Ralph, but I'm a perv for emotions. That's why I programmed you with the ability to love. Wow. Oh, well, what, so what do I do? You make her dinner. That's it? Well, it's not, it's not rocket science. She's never had a home-cooked meal. So if you put in, in the effort, she'll instantly and completely fall in love with you. Wow. Thanks, Brian. I really appreciate you ruining my sleep with, your breath with breathing all over me with your hot night breath in order to help me. That is really nice. Yeah, sure thing. Glad I could uh, be of help. Wow. I'm going to hand you my mic, too, on the way. That's great. Wow, the Brian Collin came and visited me. Close the door, man. <laughs> came and visited me. So now I have the perfect plan. I'll wake up, and as soon as I do, the first thing I'll do is wait 12 hours to ask Lizzie to come sleep over, uh, nope, to come over and have dinner. <laughs> I better get some sleep. <laughs> okay, now it's a different scene. Bring the buildings back in. <laughs> Wait, I think. Let me double check. Nope, no. Nope. Uh, yes, bring them. Okay, bring them in. Bring them in. <laughs> I, th I think everybody likes it a lot. <laughs> Don't touch the boxes when you come out. <laughs> Am I out there too? All right, hey, uh, hey, Lizzie, I wanted to, I wanted to tell you something. Cool, I love something. <laughs> Perfect. Here it is. All right. I love you. Want to get married with me? Hmm. I've never been married with you, so sounds like fun, sure. Super duper. Cool. I, have to make, I need to make this call. Okay, okay. I'll wait over here. Hey, so uh, I need like a priest or a judge or something. I'm in the middle of the city. Did you call for a judge or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is for This is for you. I found this on the ground in the courthouse. It's a certificate to let you do love legally. Why is it so moist? <laughs> That's not my job. All right. Well, I, I guess this works for me. George, I can't believe this day is happening. I've dreamt of this all day long today. Are you two ready? Yes. Do you want to go out with Lizzie permanently? Uh-huh. Do you, Lizzie, want to enter infinite romance with George? Yeah. Then with the power infested in me and this wet piece of paper, I now declare you married. You may now definitely kiss directly on the lips in front of everyone, uh, no matter what your situation is outside of this place, so that we all know you are 100% kissed and are married. This has got to be awesome. <laughs> uh, wait, I didn't, I didn't hear it. I mean, I'm <laughs> oh, oh. that was hot. <laughs> Lizzie, I'm so happy right now. I hope this play never ends because of my real life. I don't have a girlfriend, and I just play video games alone all day. And I'm, I'm, not, even, I'm not even good at them, like, like keep a pack, a pack areas. That's cool. I, I actually have a husband, and agreeing to do this play has kind of ruined my life. But it's OK, because in the play, I'm super happy, and I hope I have to kiss Keith, I mean Ralph. Oh, 
Mm. <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. Hey Ralph, guess what? What? Uh, wait, uh, the other one, where is it? Hey guys. Hey Ralph, guess what? No. <laughs> hey Liz, you want to come over for dinner tonight? Oh, sorry, Ralph. I, I can't. I, I just married George. What? George? Freaking George? When? Ten split seconds ago. <laughs> I'm really happy for you. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Um, okay, so do you want to come over alone to my place for dinner for your honeymoon? Well, if it's for my honeymoon, sure. <laughs> okay, cool. See you in the next scene. Imagine table and chairs. <laughs> okay, okay, dinner. How do you make how to make dinner? The only meal I've had was smashing a building into the ground and sucking the human guts out of the rubble. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, oh she's early. Uh, hey, come on in. Come on in. Oh, don't worry, you are. Uh, so what's on the menu? Uh, words, prices, stains. I mean, what are we having? Oh, uh, filet mignon with a cashew cheese and kale salad. My favorite. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> these, these words are what's on the menu. The menu. Let me see. Oh, filet mignon with a cashew cheese and kale salad, my favorite. Yeah, I thought so. H how do you make that? <laughs> Easy. Did you start that song over? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> you wash your hands to prepare. Clean the boogers right out of there. Why are boogers in my hands? Mind your own business. The secret to cooking the greatest meal. Is the secret to cooking the greatest meal is you take it all and rampage and rampage and rampage. <laughs> you take it all the ingredients and cause carnage, cause carnage. Two ounces of bruises. Two ounces of bruises. Filet mignon in ruins and bruises. Filet mignon in bruises. Filet mignon in ruins. That's how you make it. So, you clean your boogers, then smash the food? Mm-hmm. 
<sighs> Not only are you talented, but you're also tall and in the dark, handsome. Thanks. Eat up. <laughs> wait, wait first. Mm, I can't wait to actually eat this pan in front of everyone wait to second. show how committed I am as an actor. Wait a second, hang on a second. <laughs> your ancestors are birds, right? Because you're like a lizard? Yeah. Oh. Ladies first! Yum, I can't wait! Yes. What page are we on? What page are we on? 11. Mm, what a magical night! <laughs> oh, God! Okay, I'm glad you really ate that in real life. George. <laughs> Man, I sure do miss my wife. I should sing about it. I miss my wife. dreams. My brain is private property. Just coming in to see if my advice worked, but I think I've seen enough. I think we've all seen enough. No, no, no. This isn't what you, this isn't what you think. So you're telling me my perfect love advice on how to woo a lady didn't work and Lizzie didn't fall in love with you and this isn't a sentimental slumber party? Well, no, she ate like spit out of my mouth. And then she threw up and passed out after three hours of exhausting diarrhea. Yes, that's how I got my wife. My work is done here. in my underwear. <laughs> Wait, can we turn the lights on a little bit? <laughs> You're not on yet. <laughs> hey, Lizzie, so uh, how was our honeymoon? Sick. That's great. No, I mean, I, I got sick. Ralph made the worst meal to ever exist on the earth. Then I got violently ill for the entire night, all night. So now that our honeymoon was so miserable, I think it's going to taint our marriage, and I'll never be able to be happy with you. But I wasn't even there. Shouldn't you want to never see Ralph again? Yeah, 
maybe, but unfortunately it was my honeymoon with you, and because of the association, whenever I think of you, I, I'm, I just want to throw up. You! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> who, let a she who let a sheep in here? You, Ralph! Uh, that's my name, don't wear it after Labor Day, because I'm super casual. I have loved this woman for my whole life yesterday, and you came along and destroyed it. Sorry, dude, but it's called Rampage. What'd you expect? No, no, George, no! Uh, uh, no! Uh, <laughs> Okay, oh, never mind. See ya. Oh, okay, uh, never mind. See ya. <laughs> Pretty cool how I have fought for your love, and if it ended up going, if it had ended up going that way, where I had to fight him. Yeah, right? it makes me feel like getting physical. Um, what do you mean? <laughs> Let me explain. I sure do love my life. I love to smash all night with Ralphie. I sure, I sure do love my life with buildings of my height. Let's rampage. All right, okay, I can get into that. I sure do love my life. I love to smash all night with Lindsay. Oh, finally. <laughs> I do love to fight. With buildings of my height, let's rampage, everybody. Come on, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> everybody, smash this. Rampage rules. Keep freaking rampage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, everybody, come on on stage. Everybody who helped out. <laughs> Thank you for joining us at our great show, <laughs> Rampage on Stage. <laughs> Special guest, the bat from the other Rampage game. <laughs> we got to give special thanks to everyone who did this and auditioned earlier. It went perfectly. <laughs> Everything was written that you saw. Uh, thank Adrian for helping me with all this cardboard, getting all the cardboard and building this amazing award-winning set. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for, I'm gonna wait for an agent to give me a call because <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of money in my bank account any second now. <laughs> so thank you for watching. That's Rampage on stage, and we did it before The Rock did it, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Cool. <laughs> like nothing I've ever experienced.